tell me your favourite prediction, sir. Uh, Rose can destroy us. That's gonna be fucked. What's gonna be? It's saying goodbye to Year 11 because Corona decided to take our exams away from us. Got done doing some edits of Torchwood. I've been spending about two and a half, three hours. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, mate? You're right. You chilling? I found a grey hair. I had a haircut. See so, ya. Yeah, I hope it looks delicious. Um. So, what are your plans? For the future, yeah. Well, I completed it at 101,202 words. Fucking. But yeah, so, um, 17. I'm in that weird limbo where I can, uh. It's so professional. Oh, I licked my finger with it. Okay. He already has COVID. Because I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's December 4th, 2020. Oh. oh. Yes, welcome. December 4th, 2020. Uh, what have you been up to? Um, not too much, to be honest. I went to work the other day. Uh, well, which was yesterday. It's Friday, the 4th of December, 2020. Oh, Christ. It's 2021 in a matter of days. So, that's basically it for, for me. I've currently got a coffee here, which is very nice. And it's very nice. Yeah. Anyway, I'll bid you farewell. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> Hello, hello there. Yes, it is Saturday, December 5th, 2020. Thought I'd record a little bit because um, I want a lot to be into the December vlog. Not necessarily anything, like, you know, is happening, but I thought I've had a couple updates from college and stuff like that. Well, basically, I've got online courses, an online lessons for another two weeks, which is kind of pointless because in about a week and a bit, I'm going to be on my, uh, my Christmas break. So, <laughs> I'm not going back to college till January 4th, Alexa. What day is it on January 4th? January 4th falls on a Monday, 30 days from today. Yeah, so January 4th is when I will be 30 days exactly, my word, into some more of this, because I love this book. It's one. Of, it's probably my favourite book of the year. But yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next bit of the Lighty Vlog. Bye-bye, bye-bye for now. Uh, your uh, career thinking, and allow you to... ideas uh, rather than just giving you a blank page and saying right now come up with an idea okay so we, we, we what we're trying to do is, is get you to generate some some material um, that you can then Me and my son forgive me for not rising never been the same ever since that flu epidemic back in 18 what are you doing here you've been telling these people that you're the train guard that you are really the master Hello there. <clears throat> it is December 8th, 2020. Uh, it is now was it half, nearly half 11. <laughs> uh, I'm making this update because I may not be able to, um, I don't know. But yeah, I just thought I'd talk about what I'm doing tomorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm doing bits and bobs. And I thought, why not update you guys on the things that I'm up to? So tomorrow I've got an online call with college. That's from 10.45 to 11.45, but before that, from around 9.30, I'm going to be editing and finalising the October monthly vlog, and I'm going to have that out, hopefully, by the 10th, um, fingers crossed, and then by the 15th we'll have the November vlog, because I just don't have time in my life at the moment, and I just want those out, um, so they're kind of a priority at the moment. Uh, we're doing a project at the moment, um, 
where basically um, you know it's a 45 second to one minute film and it has to be it has to be just something short you know it has to have the theme of home um, and well yeah my concept is going to be very much the the idea that home is you, as much a bit of a cage really I want to put it across as a bit of a cage you know a place that you're not meant to be for too long because while you live there you aren't supposed to literally live there you know, um, you aren't going to spend every single day cooped up indoors because um, it's not healthy. And you know, it's gonna that's, that's it's gonna be 45 seconds to a minute. I think it'll probably be about 50, 50 good seconds of that. Um, I'm gonna stand here because then you have that on show and that looks nicely framed. So wonderful. Um, yeah. When Christmas when the Christmas break begins, hopefully they won't give us any more work because as far as I know, they're about to give us. They've given this project that's meant to be in by next week, so that's fair. Um, so hopefully they don't give us too much. I hope they don't because I want to catch up and I can spend the Christmas break just catching up doing the work that I haven't because um, there are a few gaps uh, and that would be lovely. I think I like the idea of doing weekly content. Um, you know, just little bits and bobs where I just talk about different things. I have returned from the ether. Fuck off, you car. It's another book by Alice Oseman. But the thing is, I've been trying to get this for like months because I, I, I did a little order on uh, Waterstones, uh, well I went to the, my local branch and basically the beauty of Waterstones is that you can order things in and pay for it later. Little did I know that by the time I got to December, which is when I eventually got it, I mean it was open at the time but the thing is I didn't have money on me and I thought mm, I'll buy it when I get paid and I thought it would be a little Christmas gift to myself. But then I looked uh, and I've got a Waterstones card and account so basically I've spent I think it's like, you know, when you buy 10 books, you get £10 off on your next purchase or like a free book or something like that. So I got this basically for free. I got a limited edition, a limited signed edition of This Winter by Alice Oseman. And uh, there's her, you know, uh, uh, signature. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next bit. Bye for now. Hello, it's December 9th, 2020. Yes, I'm wearing the same jumper as yesterday. Shut the fuck up. And I've missed like three or four emails from all from bloody uh, the BFI Academy and I'm just shitting myself because I'm like, <gasps> does John do be needing to do some more work? So bye-bye. Country -bye. Mary is upon us, but before we've even hit the peak of festivities, COVID rates in London and the South East are now the highest in England. In most cases amongst 11 to 18 year olds, the health secretary this evening announced an emergency targeted testing program for secondary schools. We've decided to put in place an immediate plan for testing all secondary school age children in the seven worst affected boroughs of London, in parts of Essex that border London, and parts of Kent. <laughs> Hello, welcome. It is now December 13th, 2020. I'm exactly two months into being 17 years of age. I thought I'd update you. Yesterday we made a short little film. I'm going to play it in just a second. Um, it was for the BFI Academy. It's nothing amazing. It's 15... No, it's 22 seconds long. And it's literally just... You know, it's just a few shots telling a very, very weird story. So, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, uh, the story is this character who uh, is a spy and is writing on a typewriter for some reason and someone comes in and shoots them and we had to do it all over Zoom. So it was shot over Zoom and we only had half an hour to do it and then for some reason someone at the end is filming. That's my shot. It's weird. I don't know. It makes no sense. But um, we made that in half an hour. So I'll, I'll put it here um, and well, yeah. There we go! I hope you enjoyed those 15 seconds worth. Uh, 20 sec 22 seconds worth. 22! Yes. Um, but yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, um, it, was, it was a bit of fun, you know, and it's not... Apparently, I'm, I actually shot some bits for a little short film um, that I'm probably going to release onto the Dark Design Dramas channel because I feel like it, you know. Uh, and it's, it's, it's meant to, we're meant to make a film about home and I'm tailoring it to be, what if home, you know, if we spend too long indoors, we forget ourselves. Have a good day.
Hello. Hello, it is December 22nd, 2020. What I've got currently, I've got like an explosion of things. I'm currently reading this and I just need to finish it. Like I've, I've been reading that for too long. I've got my notes, this is my diary. And then I've got this film to watch, The Sixth Sense. And then I've got, this is where I listen to my Beacon and Shorty drums. And then I've got some BFR Academy notes over there. Um, and I've also got a selection of books that I'm going to be reading over the next couple of months. I'm going to jump into some Big Finish audio dramas. I'm going to be listening. I'm going to, I'm going to be re-listening to the Evelyn Smythe story with the Sixth Doctor, because I miss I miss listening to those OG stories. I'm watching. I, well, I was watching a a, a um, video on the uh, Eighth Doctor in the Wilderness Wilderness Years. In fact, what's the channel name? I'll give them. Yeah, Clever Dick Films. They've got 27,000 subscribers. Um, I'd highly recommend their videos. Um, it's very in-depth analysis into all the eras of the Doctors. It's really cool. Um, and well, yeah, I'm not going to record this for too long, but um, yeah, I'm going to listen to some more Big Finish audio dramas, and it's going to be fun. I hope you are having a good day, whatever you're up to. And well, yeah, so I'll see you. Bye bye for now. I'm going to give you a little shot of what this looks like without any of the food, because we're going to have a you know, this is what the cheese board's going to look like. We don't always have it here. In 2018, we had it on here, um, and the table, well, it used to be over there, but now it's um, it's here, so that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah. So for for now, we've got we've got you know it over here. Got a cake stand. It's going to look really nice, you know, and it's it just looks so aesthetic. Let's take a moment. Let's take it away. Take a moment to admire that. But I thought I'd take a minute just to admire the old phone before it is never used again. Oh, hello. Me. Yeah, doesn't turn on. Nada. It was meant to turn on, but doesn't. It's kind of sad. But yeah, so this is the phone I've been using for four and a half years and no longer. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got some red roses. The colour is a lot deeper in real life. It looks a bit dead from this camera. But yeah, and then we've got this here. Nice, nice light. Got these hanging from the ceiling, all going into the middle. And I just think that looks really nice. Um, and well, yeah, and so this is the living room in 2020, um, 24th of December. I've got my flowers over here. We've got a stereo, um, which is nice. It plays EP3 and CD. What I would love is a, an, a, a vinyl record player that plays all audio formats. Um, obviously, the phone thing fell through because the thing is, the Google Pixel 4a costs three hundred and forty something, three hundred and fifty pounds roughly, give or take, um, and that's quite expensive, <laughs> as a lot of people with low income will know. And I could have gotten a cheaper phone, but I wanted to. But the thing is, this is the phone I was going to get in May anyway. And so it was technically part of a Christmas present as well, because the thing is, I could only afford 220 because I've got a job and I basically just put all my money into it. Um, but what happened was um, my mum pitched in 130 um, which is very kind of her. And well, yeah, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed what, this bit, and I'll get back to you f the following morning. You're, this 24th of December is going to be a long day. <laughs> the phone has now arrived. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, not much else to it, but yeah, it's arrived, and so I thought, um, here we are. And then in between, we have... Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. And here we are. Fingerprint and all. Let's change the SIM card out and uh, get on with it then, shall we? Yeah, here we are. Um, currently, this is oh shit. Currently, this is the old phone that models the spare mum phone. This SIM card. This is the Pixel 4a. Very nice. Glad to own it. Um, and this is just the camera cap. I've just got on this ready in a hurry. Why not. So there we go. A little cover for the phone. Put the phone back in there. Why not? Fun, fun, fun. And here, the. Uh, SIM card remove, tray remover. What is it? What is it?
Hello, Hello, mother. You alright, mother? No, I've already done it. Now you're dead. Okay. Hello, mother. Are you well? Oh, I know you're well. Now, we can determine if this stops all of that. What is that? A variant of the Shanti virus. You're experimenting with the virus? Manipulating a live virus is essential for creating a vaccine, doctor. Hello. Hello, yes, it is now December 28th, 2020. Welcome. Um, again, another shot. I, I, I seem to love filming in here. I don't know why. Uh, now I am on my way to um, editing... Uh, I mean, I'm, I've literally I've finished Stories of the Condemned. <laughs> Finally. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, well, there are bits that I need to... Still, I mean, I say I've finished, I'm not happy with episode 3, so I'm probably going to do emergency editing uh, on the last uh, few minutes, because there are just bits I'm not happy with, like some sounds that aren't in place, yada yada yada. So, a bit more work to do there, but then once it's done, I can be free! Definitely. B.S. What have we got to say? So, I'm using my new phone, I don't know if this is one of the first videos, actually no, I recorded some bits of a Christmas, but I didn't really explain it. I've got a new phone! Because my previous one decided to die on me on December 22nd. So... Lovely. Uh, I, I, yeah, it died. It was not happy. It was not happy and uh... <sighs> but then I can come out and I'm over here. But yeah, let's keep it fairly dim. I don't like too much light in shots. I like... Uh, under I, I like undersaturated shots, but... I mean, I mean, if you're on a phone screen then it might not be helpful. But yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lock it at that. There we go. AFAVAE lock. But yeah, so, um, what have I got to talk about, uh, for the most part? Well, it's nearly the end of the year. In a couple of days' time, I'm going to be re-recording my end-of-year vlog, because I recorded an end-of-year vlog that would be a retrospective, but I don't think it was good enough. Um, you know, New Year's Day, recording bits for the monthly vlog, Stories of the Condemned will be out, life will be a bit more chill, I'll be able to just finally get back to work on my book, because I've had to put that on hold a tiny bit, because of Stories of the Condemned, because I just haven't had any time, and I've not been prioritising it in any way, and I'm finally on my Christmas break, and I thought, fucking do it. <laughs> so I've got it done for the most part, it's just episode 3's finale bit, I need to change a bit. <sighs> so yeah, I've got things that I want to make, um, that I've written scripts for even, but it's just about getting people to record lines and then, you know, editing it myself and then just having it out on a particular day. I've got things on a schedule, but I might not be keeping to that schedule, basically, is what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because I'm meant to be having a bath now, but anyway, uh, uh, bye! <laughs> Hello, it is the 31st of December 2020. Um, it's midnight, <laughs> as it usually is when I record this. Um, but yeah, welcome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to talk about. Uh, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I need to look here. This is where the camera is. Hello. Um, but, uh, so yeah, it is the 31st. It's December 31st. It is the end of the year. Um, the last day of 2020. I'll never touch 2020 again. And it's been a year since December 2019. So... Ooh, oh, my word. <laughs> oh, 2020's been a bit of a weird year. <laughs> uh, we started the year with threats of war, um, you know, and uh, I was doing my GCSEs. I was very hopeful. I wanted to be better in my educational stance. Um, I got fairly good grades. It was pretty chill, um, especially considering I, I ended it a few months early because of the pandemic. Um, oh, yeah, so... <sighs> Weird, because uh, like you know, I'm just trying to like look back. I'm gonna do a proper thing, obviously tomorrow. But like, I'll do a little short thing because you would have already seen it by now. But like, uh, yeah, 2020, dear me. Um, so I uh, by February I was filming like this James Blake thing, which is like a funny thing that I've now uploaded onto this channel because I thought it's for laughs and gags, and I don't want it on the Dark Design Dramas channel because it's just. I, know, I want like um like proper drama dramas on there I suppose I mean I don't really know how to really say it without sounding like 
Something, something weird. This is really annoying me. Um, you know, because, uh, you know, James Blake is quite meme and it's kind of just a bit of a joke, to be honest, whereas my usual stuff isn't. By the end of February, um, it was the it was before I before I even had an idea that I was going to be sent home. I thought this pandemic thing was going to end, like things tend to. Like I was going to be like, oh, it's going to end. It's going to be all shit, and it's just going to be like, oh, we're just going to lie to us and well, not lie to us, but like it was just going to be like, oh, the possibility of a lockdown's there, but it would never actually happen. Like it, you know, and and then we'd all go on to say, oh, how funny was that? But yeah, so uh, yeah, <laughs> it's weird because now by March I was. On the eve of doing my, I was literally just I've just done my uh, mocks and uh, yeah, school was all was was sort of like it was okay. Kind of stress about exams. Um, an audio series came out late because of it. Um, it was meant to come out in March, the Torchwood series, but it ended up coming out in uh, in April. But I mean, it still came out. So yeah, or April May something like that. And then you got uh. Yeah, by the time we got to April, I was a bit of a blur. I was in a bit of a blur state because I was writing my novel. <sighs> April, I was drafting my my novel. I just pretty much sort of started because I mean I'd done like three of three to seven thousand words. Like between the three and seven thousand words by the time it was November. Yeah. Um. I don't know, I'm going to leave you now. <laughs> I'll probably record some bits towards the end of the day, which is the end of today. Because it's midnight and I need to sleep. Um, and well, yeah. So, lovely. So I'll bid you farewell. And I'll see you in the last moments of 2020. Bye bye for now. It's 2021 tomorrow. I still can't get that in my head. It's 2021 tomorrow. Hmm. Hopefully this will be the end of a shit year. Yeah. It's moments away, and guess what? I can't wait. I'm ready for this new year. So make sure you come back here. Me and my crew are gonna rock with you after this special midnight moment. More music, more good vibes, more good times. So get ready to raise your glasses to the new year. I'm gonna see you on the other side. This program contains flashing images. Hmm. Oh, London Eye. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. Laser bolts. Hey.